I'm going to talk about um, talk about new features in the Forms plugin for the Content Management System WebMe. The website I'm using here is uh, it's for an artist retreat, and the form that we're looking at is for registration, so people can um, you know suggest whether or not they're uh, suitable for this. Um, super user is already entered here in the surname because I'm logged in as an administrator but uh, normally it would be blank to begin with so if I fill in um, actually let's, let's not fill in the details leave it all blank and click on next you can see nothing happens um, so it's asking me to fill in name and surname email address is required as well this field is required um, we have a new feature where if you fill in an email address, we can have it so that uh, a, a verification code is sent out to that email address. So if I enter an email address here, that's already verified. Let's try a different one. Um, there. Please check your email for a verification code and fill it in. And uh, this is a new feature. Uh, we'll just check our email here. Email, email, email. Verification for code for this email address is 72021. So back to here, 72021. And that's it verified. Next. That's a new feature here where we have a previous and next. It's all within the same page. Um, and you can't go to the next parts of. You can see if we look up here at the URL, it's all in the next page. It's all on the same page. Um, so we have a, a, a multi um, multi stage form uh, all, all within one page where each part has to be verified before you can go on to the next part so uh, we'll just carry on a bit on to the next interesting part which is this purpose of the residency which uh, in this case we have a text area and we want to restrict um, the amount of words or characters that you can enter it's easy to restrict the character so we've done that if we just start entering the data and just fill up after a while, you see here we have a red border. That's a warning that you're approaching the limit. Uh, and then after a little bit more, you can see we, we're not allowed to type anymore. So we have limits in the text area. That's a new feature as well. Uh, we go on to the next and continue. And in, in a previous attempt on the form, I actually uploaded some files. You can, uh, it's a new feature where we can add, we can upload files. So um, uh, it's all within the same form. You don't have to wait to, to submit the form. You can actually upload um, within the form itself. Okay. And multiple files. Next. Uh, next. And finally, we uh, you, you can require that certain fields uh, be submitted. For example, the checkbox there for um, terms and conditions. And we'll submit that without the capture so it's not actually sent. So invalid capture, please try again. Um, this text here, please enter your first name, please enter your surname. This help text is actually um, customizable. So uh, we've shown the front ends there with the new features. What I'll have a look at now is the administration area. If we go up to the administration area now, and it's this page here. Um, in form fields, which is the list of items that we're like we're interested in forename, surname, email address, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera. We have, let's say, in forename here. Uh, what type is it? Single line of text. Is it required? Yes. And what is the help text? Please enter your first name. So if we go back to the front end there, you can see when you put your mouse in there. We have it here. We also have it there. And also, if that's blank, if I click on next, please enter your first name. It appears there as well. So help text. You can change this to whatever you want. And so if we go on to the next, pa uh, next page of it, for example, we have professional name. Go back to the front end. Uh, phone name, surname, email address, professional name, which doesn't have any help text on it at the moment. If I change that, we can just add in, um, please enter the name that you use on stage. And 
we'll save that. So update page details. And now if I reload that page, oops, enter names, K. Okay. Uh, and we verified uh, KB, what is it? K, uh, KB sites.ie, that was verified. So you can see here actually that's not asking me to verify it again because it's already been verified. So professional name now, please enter the name that you use on stage. Um, we see as well the, the first page in, in here we have uh, forename, surname, email address. After that we have a next page link and a page break. So we have the next page link and then there's a page break which um, is then used to separate the various forms. So we have previous, next, etc, etc. Um, anything else is interesting? We had uh, the text area, purpose of res residencies. So if we find that here as purpose, it's uh, multiple lines of text, maximum length 2000, length to one after 1200. Oh, another interesting thing here, if you change this like that, um, change that back, then it, it will on the fly change what, what the settings are that, uh, that, that, that you're being asked for. So um, just as an example there, we had the email address here. Um, if, you, if you don't mind people submitting email ad e emails um, that have not actually been verified yet, then just leave this unticked. Um, by default, it's unticked anyway. But um, you know, I, I think it's actually a good idea to verify somebody's email address before um, they're allowed to submit a form. It'll cut down on the amount of spam that you get. And apart from that, I think we're done on. Yep, we're we're done on the new features for the forms plugin.